how to book a general or an unreserved ticket using the UTS mobile application for Android. So hey guys welcome to this tutorial in this quick and easy tutorial I'll be guiding you through the steps of how you can book an unreserved or a general class ticket using your mobile phone. So you don't need to get through the lines of the general ticket counter on the station. All you can do is pre-book your general ticket before commencing your journey. Just make sure that you are at a distance from the railway station as it might not work within the railway station itself as there is geofencing enabled by the Indian Railways for the same. So in order to start the first thing that you will need is the UTS mobile application. So you can download the UTS mobile application from the Google Play Store or the App Store if you are on an iOS device. So once the app has been downloaded you can simply tap and open it and you will be greeted with this particular Indian Railways logo and then it will ask you for enable biometric you can skip this if this message appears and now you have this particular screen now in this screen you can see this option that says journey ticket so make sure you are on this particular section of journey ticket and within this you can see the normal booking now in this we have two options book and travel and also book and print so you can choose this leftmost option and then you will need to allow your location permission so simply click on this turn on option and it says filtering stations based on your current location. So just give it some time and then now you have this particular interface. Now in this interface you can select both of the stations, the departing station as well as the source station where you are going. So simply select this departing station by clicking here and then selecting the station and then also choose your destination station as well. And once you are done with this, you can click onto this get fare button in order to get the fare and the ticket price. So once you will click here, you can select the number of people that will be traveling. So you can select up to four adults or let's say four children as well. Then you have the ticket type and the train type. Also make sure that you select the current train, that you select the correct train type as if you will select the incorrect train type and if you board that particular train then this particular ticket might be invalid and fines will be imposed on you. So make sure that you board and select the correct train type. So if you are going to board a mail or an express train be sure to select the first option that is mail express and if you are going to select a super fast express then you need to select the super fast option as it will lead to a additional super fast charge. So you can choose any of these from here that is me. So simply select the correct train type and once you have selected the correct train type. So make sure you select the correct train type and once you have selected the train type you will move on to class. Currently the second class option is only available. Then you can select the payment type. You can either choose the R wallet or you can also be using UPA debit credit or net banking as well. And apart from that if you want to avail some concession you can click onto this check mark and select the concession type. Then apart from that you can get the ticket summary from here and the total fare that you need to pay. Then simply click onto this book ticket option and it will show you two options. It says currently our wallet and if you want to pay through other means you can click onto this other payment option. So once you will do this you might need to log in and after you are done with the login you need to click onto this book ticket button and it says booking is in progress please don't press the back button and after you are done with this it will take you to the payment option just choose any particular mode of payment that you want and make the payment and your ticket will be available within your UTS mobile application so that was all for this tutorial thanks for watching and have a nice day